Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Town City State. You know why you're here. You know why you clicked on this video. Even the most urbanist urbanites have been on a road trip at least once in their life. And well, I've been on more than one and have some unique insights about each of the gas station chains we have here in front of us. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a tier list. You know, because every so often I like to make these videos that probably shouldn't be taken all too seriously in order to, uh, you know, kind of lighten up the mood within the urbanist geography YouTube space. So, hey, enough chit chat. Let's get right into this tier list. Now, I haven't been on too many road trips in the East Coast, so you might see more West Coast brands in here uh, more than East Coast because um, that's where I live. And so I fill up the old tank uh, on the West Coast most of the time. But again, this is road trip gas station tier list. So let's start off. Um, where are we going to start off? I think we're going to do 7-Eleven first. It's just sticking out to me. You know what I mean? Uh, 7-Eleven, the brand itself, it's classic. Everybody has been to a 7-Eleven at least once in their life. But is it worth a good placement on this list? You know what I mean? Uh, I think, I think I'm going to put it in. <laughs> wow, we're really starting off this tier list with a bang. I think I'm going to put it in D because it's 7-Eleven. I mean, the, you're never going to eat the food there. Yes, they have food, but it's always suspect. Um, however, it is always, it, it's always the cheapest gas around for some reason. Like 7-Eleven always have, has like pr pretty cheap gas. So I'm really not sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick it in C, uh, for, for the time being, you know, you can always find it in cities. Um, it's usually not in like the rural areas on a road trip. So yeah, it's not a great road trip gas station, but I think it deserves the C for 7-Eleven. So, uh, I think next up. Shell is also speaking to me. I mean, look at this logo. I think, I think based off the logo alone, it, it would belong in an S. It is a road trip staple, always available in a pinch. And the gas is usually pretty cheap too. So I've really got no complaints. I'm going to put it comfortably in this middle position of B. Uh, I think it's a perfectly average road trip gas station. You're always going to see shells. Um, it's reliable. So yeah. It's not like anything crazy like some of the other brands we have here, but yeah, definitely, definitely deserves a B rating there. And I think for number three, we're going to choose Loves. Why not? Because this is a gas station that a lot of people love, right? Uh, <laughs> always has so many pumps, just so many pumps so you can fill up your gas uh, and um, is pretty much always clean, but hectic <laughs> in the, and, and often in the middle of nowhere, too. But that's what you that's kind of what you want in a road trip gas station. You want somewhere that's like, you know, reliable, clean, a lot of pumps and also a little bit of a scene. It's like, whoa, you're jumping into this like whole new world here. <laughs> so loves. I know a lot of people love loves. And you know what? I love loves, too. Let's put loves at A. Why not? Why not? I think that's a good fit. Um, I think Chevron is going to be next. We're just starting off here in this first category. Uh, there's really no rhyme or reason. I'm kind of just seeing what, what catches my eye first and, and just going for it. So Chevron is typically the most expensive option. Let's let's be honest with ourselves here. I, I know there's that one Chevron. I think it's in Southern California, like Nevada, near Las Vegas that I've been to. It's like the biggest Chevron in the world, all with like, you know, like 200, not 200 pumps, <laughs> like 25 pumps or something, maybe even 50, some crazy number of pumps. But other than that, Chevron does not impress. Like across the country, Chevron's just like you're going to Chevron if you have to, if there's no other cheaper option because they are always expensive. So I'm going to drag them down to see just for the price alone. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Most of the time they're clean, but I think they belong in the C. D is like we have no F category, but like D is practically F. Like you're pretty much failing if you if you go in D. And I don't think they're failing, but they're close. <laughs> They're close. They, they really need to cheapen up the gas. Um, okay. Next up, let's do, let's grab from over here. Let's go Exxon Mobil. Let's go Exxon Mobil. And Exxon Mobil is really all reliable as far as gas stations on road trips go, I feel like. You guys have to let me know what you think down in the comment section. I feel like everybody has their own perception of each of these brands and gas stations and memories tied to them on road trips. So uh, yeah, Exxon Mobil. And I did this as one 
kind of square because it's it's they're owned by the same company. It is Exxon Mobil, but sometimes you'll get Exxon, sometimes you get Mobil. Anyway, you guys know that. Uh, half the pumps are always out of order, I feel like. Um, but they do have great convenience stores attached most of the time. So I don't know, but it's pretty expensive. I think it's right on that level with Shell, though. I think these are like, you know, old reliable staples right here in the B category. Um, let's, okay, this one's been staring at me. I know you guys want me to pick this one, Bucky's. Now, there are some of these I haven't been to. I've been to the first five. I have never been to a Bucky's. I know, I know. Bucky's corporate, you know, send me out there. Send me to a Bucky's. There's there's none in Southern California, so I, I've just never been. And I've, I feel like I've never driven through the certain parts of like Texas that they have the Bucky's in. And those kind of states too. Uh, it's oh, I'm always just stop, stopping here, but you know, I got to get around to get going to a Bucky's. Um, but of course, I know what they're about. They're world famous for their food and atmosphere, and oddly enough, the high paying rate for their, their employees. I don't know. They just pay their employees well. I think so. That's a, it's always a plus. But obviously, this is going in. Ah, uh, do I put it in S or A? I was going to say, obviously, it's going in S, but can I put something in S that I haven't even been to and, and, and just trust the internet? Because some people say it's overrated. So I think I'm going to put it in A. And you guys might come for me. You guys might be like, hey, this deserves S. It's Bucky's. Have you never had the brisket sandwich? No, I've never had the brisket sandwich from Bucky's. So you, ha you have to bear with me there <laughs> with this Bucky's rating. But I know it's they, don't, they have about 100 pumps. Everybody's always happy inside. The bathrooms are clean and plentiful. Um, uh, but this place gets packed like a Costco, I hear. Like a Costco on the weekends. Like a Costco on a Saturday. This is Bucky's just all day, every day. So, uh, you know, again, I haven't been. Maybe it would be an S. I'm going to trust you guys. And, and, you know, you guys as in the internet. I'm going to trust you guys and put it in A for now. So, uh, yeah. Let's move along right next to Bucky's. We got Speedway. Now, Speedway, you know, I've got nothing really interesting, <laughs> too interesting to say about Speedway. It's always there when you need it. Um, that is unless half the pumps are out of order. Yeah, some of these I just tie a memory to like always needing, you know, to get gas in a pinch and then the pump's out of order. And I feel like Speedway is one of those brands. Let me know in the comments if you have the same kind of connection, if you draw the same tie to Speedway and <laughs> half the pumps being out of order. But that's Speedway for you. Uh, and I think we're going to put it in, I think we're going to, I don't know. It's pretty under the radar, but it's usually pretty cheap and, and standard. So I'm going to put it in this average B category uh, for now. Now, here's another one I haven't been to. Sheets. Uh, sheets, I think I've read a lot about Sheets. I've never been to because I think they're only in like the Midwest or like the Rust Belt. Um, I hear they're famous for their food. It looks like a full-on grocery store in there, to be honest. Uh, it's located, yeah, in the Chesapeake states, uh, Virginia, Maryland, but also can be found up in the Rust Belt and Pennsylvania and Ohio. Um, you guys, if you're watching my channel and, and you go to Sheets regularly, well, you know that. But for the, the, the for the viewers that are not from that area of the country, um, pretty niche. So I, I don't know how many of you guys, I, I certainly hadn't heard of Sheets before uh, collecting all these countrywide road trip chains um, for this video. But yeah, I hear good things about Sheets. Some people would probably put it in an S if, you know, they're in the Midwest or whatever. But I think I'm going to put it in, yeah, I think I'm going to put it in B. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to put it in B. So, I don't know, just never been there. And I can't, <laughs> I know, look at these, look at these. I know you guys, some of you guys really want me to put sheets in A. I just, I don't know, the logo is just sus. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird looking, I think... Uh, okay, I'm going to put it in B. I'll make my way out to a Sheets the next time I'm in the Rust Belt. All right, that's a promise. Uh, okay, the next one, <laughs> I think based off of the name alone, this is this is an automatic S. I really don't have, I really don't, um, I hope I don't have much pushback on that. I think Come and Go is an S tier <laughs> brand, but off the name alone, I'll put in an S tier. And I've been to Come and Go, and, you know, they're really good. I, I They're really usually very modern and clean. Uh, the locations, for whatever reason I tie this, you know, the locations usually have, like, a good food 
option. I remember I went uh, to come and go in Colorado a lot, and they would have like a Freddy's steak, I think it's steak burgers, um, attached to the come and go, and it was just like really great because <laughs> you just fill up a come and go and get a delicious meal at Freddy's. It's like having an in and out attached to a gas station for my California viewers. Um, so yeah, come and go, S tier. I, I hear that they're considering a rebrand or something like they're gonna get a gonna get rid of this altogether but i don't know as it stands come and go is s tier and you cannot change my mind <laughs> and you'll see these on the west coast a lot i i don't think uh many east coasters east coasters know what this is so yeah um apologies if i'm like sniffling a little bit i'm under the weather <laughs> just a bit but bear with me as we get through this uh gas station tier list next we're gonna do bp i mean I think if any brand deserves a D, it's it's BP after the oil spill that kind of defined. It's like the major, the the first major news story of my childhood, uh, growing up in like the late, coming into uh, consciousness in the late two thousands. You know, just like two thousand ten around that era. I was like, oh shoot, something really bad. You know, is associated with with this with this logo. So I, I can't like it. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's a shady company. I try to avoid it as, po as as much as possible. I think the last time I was here was when I was out in Long Island. I think they have a lot of BPs out there. You don't see this on the West Coast at all, if 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 there are any even out there. So, uh, yeah, um, rarely see it on road trips. Which you know, I, I don't even know why it's included, but it's gonna go D, and I, I think you guys will agree with me there. Next up, let's just finish out this first row. Let's let's go Circle K. And I think this is another old reliable pick that that deserves a B. And I almost want to put it in A because it is kind of a road trip staple to me. Um, apparently, this is the second biggest gas station by number of locations in the U.S. And I'd, I'd say that's pretty accurate. And maybe the most common gas station to frequent on road trips other than maybe, I don't know, Chevron. Other than, you know, like these three. I feel like these three are just insanely popular but circle k is a big one especially on the west i'm not sure about the east coast again but the mountain west uh maybe even through kansas and stuff like that you know just those middle of the country road trips uh the best ones <laughs> uh you'll, you'll run into a circle k so i don't know i you know what i'm gonna put it at a i i like stopping off at Cir circle k's that their restrooms are pretty clean friendly and i think this is a brand of gas station that tier wise you know we're gonna put it in a with the other uh, with the other, you know, lovely staples up there. It's not It's not this level. I think Circle K is that level above the B. And speaking of something that's a level above the B, <laughs> we're going to put Wawa in A, and automatically it's because, you know, of what you hear. Um, I'm going to Philadelphia really soon, so I'll get to experience Wawa in all its glory in the coming weeks. But <laughs> from what I've heard, this place is all Pennsylvanians can seem to talk about so it must be good uh good food good vibes clean stores overall a trusted brand so i have to slot them in the a even though i haven't been there yet like bucky's it's got that same kind of cult following i feel like you know especially from people in pennsylvania and philadelphia and, and i'm sure the surrounding states maybe even and i know i feel like i know they're in florida as well and new jersey so wawa you're going in a i'll put that to the test in the coming weeks and when i visit uh uh philadelphia so yeah. And then we're going to do this one. We're going to do Sunoco. Um, it's a nostalgic choice for anyone who grew up on the East Coast. That's my age, I feel like. It's the quintessential gas station. And living on the West Coast now, I kind of miss this awesome, really cool <laughs> Sunoco logo on my daily drives. And uh, for that alone, I'm, I'm going to put it in A. You know, I, this is a brand. This is a gas station. I've got good memories. Always stopping off here as a kid on Long Island and even on the other parts of the East Coast. And I know, I feel like I know they have this in the South uh, as well, too, where I lived for some time. I, I've lived a lot of places, guys. So <laughs> when I throw out, oh, yeah, I grew up here, I grew up here, I grew up in many different places. So anyway, yeah, this goes in A, and I think that's a fair choice right there. I think that's a fair ranking for Sunoco. I mean, just look at this logo. This thing is, this thing is kind of sick, like, especially on the NASCAR uh, cars that you used to see this logo on. I mean, that, this is just a really cool logo. Uh, it's like even race car and stuff like that. Anyway, 
We'll move on at 76, a, a West Coast gas station. If this is the East Coast quintessential gas station, 76, I feel like, is the West Coast quintessential gas station. Any road trip through California, um, you're going to be stopping in a 76. And you're in luck because usually these are pretty good. Uh, most of the locations I've been to are pretty small, though, and kind of lack that, like, huge pump amount that you like, <laughs> that the gas guzzlers like on their road trips. Um, but it's usually one of the cheaper options. Bathroom maintenance could use some some help across the board. But I think this, it's not quite, uh, I don't know. I mean, the logo is really cool, too. It's just that 76 orange retro vibe that kind of makes me want to put it over here but is it on bucky's level no i mean this is not even on bucky's level and i haven't even been to bucky so what even is a bucky's level i don't know but hey we're gonna put it we're gonna put 76 at b just a good california staple gas station trusted brand um okay <laughs> quite the tier list we're building here guys quite the tier list uh next up is quick trip why not why not uh, I feel like quick trips are always clean, always got a lot of pumps. It's a solid choice. You know, you're going to find these through like Texas, Oklahoma, Arizona. They're, they are very plentiful. Um, and not to be confused with quick trip with a K, W I K. That's also apparently another gas station brand that I felt like if I included both on this list, it'd be a little confusing. So I just included one. <laughs> so quick trip. Uh, I don't know, man. <sighs> I don't know. I don't have any. I think this is this this is gonna be on this level. Maybe that's a hot take. I don't know. Nothing special about Quick Trip. I think, uh, and pretty much the same with Philip sixty six. I mean, really cool logo though. It's you know like kind of doing the little Route sixty six thing, but um, these are all over the middle of the country. So you're gonna be stopping at these if you're like going through Missouri and Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas. So. I kind of like, I, I, I like this gas station. It's a great gas station, guys. Phillips 66, a great gas station. Pump amount is fantastic. Bathrooms are usually great. They're all over. Cool logo. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine gas station. I don't think they serve food. You know, like these godsend gas stations up here. But anyway, it's going in B for now. Ooh, apologies. The cold, the sickness. Um, okay, we're going to go Sitgo. Sitgo is our next one. Uh, another really cool logo for a gas station that I kind of heavily associate with the South, but apparently they have them all up, up and down the Atlantic coast. So um, yeah, no, I, I driving through Mississippi and Louisiana, I've certainly seen these. Um, and I don't know. I feel like they're pretty cheap usually. Um, I, what I think, I'm going to put it in A, and I'll tell you why. It's going in A for a soul, for one sole reason, really. Um, I find it funny that they have locations in all states east of the Mississippi except for Ohio. Like, they just said, nah, we're just going to skip Ohio. And if you guys watch my Ohio video, be sure to check that out, by the way. Really cool, fun video. Um, uh, then, then, then you know that Ohio is kind of just uh, mid, so... Good on Sitgo for skipping Ohio. Let, let those Ohioans suffer and uh, <laughs> go out and buy electric vehicles because they can't find a Sitgo. Anyway, um, next is Murphy USA. Now, this is one that's also, I believe, in the Midwest. And I don't know. I, I, I've, gosh, do I have anything to say about this? I, I don't know. I've never been. You guys have to tell me how Murphy USA is. But I'm going to put it in C. Uh, I, I feel like it's the 76 of, like, Michigan or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, well, you know what I mean if you're in Michigan. And I've also lived in California. So maybe you don't know what I mean. But Murphy, USA, just a standard Midwest gas station. Nothing to, no frills. Uh, I think it's usually cheap gas, so uh, certainly cheaper than these. I know. I, Chevron is burned in my brain as the most expensive gas station there is for no good reason. I mean, look, I'm in Los Angeles a lot, and I actually see in downtown los angeles eight dollar gas prices at, at, at a chevron near the arts district if you know you know eight dollar gas station chevron why every other gas station is four dollar fifty cents which is still expensive i mean <laughs> some of these you know it's the countrywide gas station kind of spread when it comes to cost is so i don't know divided nowadays especially after covid 
you'll have you'll have a Bucky's in Austin, Texas, you know, serving up gas for two dollars and thirty cents, and you'll have a Chevron in LA for eight dollars. It's like, really? <laughs> it grinds my gears, guys. Anyway, uh, Murphy USA stays in the B section. Uh, let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below because uh, I've never been. Uh, Pilot Flying J, I've got a lot to say. You know what? And and I'm going to put this in S. I'm going to put this in S, and I'll tell you why. This one is nostalgic for West Coast road trips. Uh, like I said, I usually do most of mine in the West Coast, in the Mountain West, in the Desert West. And you're going to find a Pilot or a Flying J. They're two separate kind of brands, but, you know, it's like this. It's like the Exxon Mobil. Um but they're always there for you with the cheapest gas and in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing better than just like driving through the desert for like an hour, seeing nothing. And then on the horizon, you see that beautiful pilot logo. And it's like, OK, uh, we're, we're, we're going to be OK. There's a gas station that we can we can relieve ourselves, fill up, get candy bars, get soda, get water, anything we need. And, and we'll be OK. Um. And well, it looks like we have two left, guys. So I think the second, yeah, we'll do Sinclair. And Sinclair is another West Coast road trip staple. Um, I don't, I forget if they have these in the middle of the country, honestly. Because I know, I see this, this is all over California, but I don't know where else they have it. Um, but I, I feel like definitely they, I have seen it outside of California. Maybe even the South. I don't know. I've been so many, I've been so many places, guys. Oh, no, I can't. I don't know. I don't have my wits about me. No, but <laughs> for real, Sinclair. Sinclair uh, is, a, is a solid choice. Um, it's got that just cute logo, man. It's got that cute logo. And, um, yeah, I think they usually have a lot of pumps, uh, but not as, man, not as many as you kind of want like these. So I, I think, I don't know, something about, yeah, you know what? I'll give Sinclair a B. I was going to put it in C because it's not outstanding but they usually do have some of the cheapest gas gas around like for real cheap gas like <laughs> it, it, it makes this look like a just a travesty that it is so Sinclair and I almost want to move it up to a now I'm gonna put it in B cheap gas can only get you so far I mean it, when you want a gas station you're not going there for the cheap gas guys you're going there for the bathrooms let's let's be honest and if the bathrooms aren't amazing and if the food isn't amazing well then are you even a gas station obviously i'm joking so <laughs> and then finally we'll do valero this is the last one uh always one of the cheaper gas stations especially when traveling through the south i feel like uh, you know mississippi missouri um louisiana i was always at a valero and and those road trip stops so um however they're usually in pretty sketchy areas for some reason and the bathrooms are like <laughs> always closed like this is not a reliable choice when i think about a reliable choice i'm thinking pilot i'm thinking come and go i'm thinking circle k um you know even th even these gas stations ca are most of the time reliable eh, sometimes for this one and sometimes for this one but you know when you stop at a shell it's like okay but valero do not stop here <laughs> if you want to if you if you want to pee and need to pee do not stop at Valero because chances are they're going to be closed and you're just going to have to drive to the Chevron across the street anyway. So regardless, here is the gas station, the ultimate gas station road trip tier list. Use this. Keep this on as a, you know, as your screensaver on your phone during your next road trip. So you can just open up your phone uh, uh, and see, OK, what? Where's the nearest Circle K? Where's the nearest Pilot? Where's the nearest Wawa? That's where we're stopping to get gas. So <laughs> anyway, not sponsored, obviously. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little fun one. Next week, we'll be back to some serious urbanist geography uh, topics. I've got, a, I've got a, I think next week, I've got a 10 best cities in a state list. No spoilers yet, but if you like those videos, stick around, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you next week on Town, City, State.